What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Manufactured Housing Expert channel. Today we are touring a Bradford BD07 series built by Silvercrest. This is a 2023 model, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's a beautiful layout, beautiful home. They did a great job. Make sure you stick it out till the end. You're gonna love the kitchen and family room area. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when we premiere new videos. We showcase brand new home tours on a weekly basis. We also appreciate all the love you can give by hitting that like button. All right, so you can see on the exterior of this, we've added this six foot half factory built front porch. Just above near the roof line, you can see that we added some shingle siding. It gives it great curb appeal. We also changed up the body of this home. Your standard siding is the vertical siding, but you can see we have the board and bat. The board and bat is becoming more and more popular here in Southern California. Tell us what you think of the board and bat. Do you prefer the board and bat or do you prefer the vertical siding? We've also added these, the window shutters, they call them. And we did a nice turquoise color. It's a new color that Silvercrest is offering. We also would love to hear your feedback on the color choices of the white body and a turquoise-ish trim. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I just, yeah. boy, let's go inside. Let's go inside. We're going to start through the utility room and show you the, the two guest bedrooms and then the master bedroom. And the last thing we're gonna show you is the kitchen and living area. This home has a beautiful kitchen island. It's very spacious. This home is approximately 1,470 square feet. Here we go. This laundry room can fit a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. We added this wood shelf. You can choose from many different options if you want overhead cabinets, wire shelving, wood shelving. You do have several choices. As you can see, we've added the furnace door. Adding a furnace door makes it much quieter so that when the furnace is going, it doesn't keep you up at night or wake you up. If you're watching TV, it's a nice damper for the noise. So make sure you ask your salesperson, your MH expert, to add a furnace door. Now, straight ahead over here is bedroom number three. Both of these guest bedrooms are good size. They're a little bit larger than a 10 by 10. If you want to know the price of this home, leave a comment or send us your contact information. Pricing does vary depending on the project and the property that you have, such as if you have utilities in one central location, if you need any excavating for the land. So there are a lot of variables that come into play. Now over here, we can't forget about this closet, coat closet right here. There is a, a little coat closet, which is nice. Everybody wants a place to hang all their coats and, and guest coats when they have family and friends over. All right, over here is the guest bathroom. It has a tub shower combo. We've added this window. Standard, this bathroom does not come with that window over the shower, so make sure you option that window in. It adds a lot of natural light, and it's always nice to be able to get some more airflow on a hot day here in the bathroom. We have 
solid surface countertops throughout. Tell us what you think about the white solid surface countertops. What is your favorite countertop material? Do you like solid surface, quartz, granite, laminate? And another thing with Silvercrest is look at that window trim. Silvercrest has a nice, I'm sorry, a mirror trim, not a window trim, mirror trim. They always have that nice mirror trim and take a look at the vanities that they added in here. Those are standard vanities. Now, as we move towards the back of this home, over here to the left is the second guest bedroom. As you can see, it's a good size guest bedroom. You can easily fit a king size bed with nightstands. You can also fit a dresser in there. So these are spacious guest bedrooms in this home. Now we're moving into the master bedroom. This is a spacious master bedroom. It's larger than both of the guest bedroom. You could easily fit a large California King, nightstands, dressers, probably two different dressers if you have a lot of clothes, but you have plenty of room here in this master be bedroom. Now we're gonna move over here into the master bathroom. I really like this master bathroom. Let's go take a look. We added a his and her sink with a bank of drawers in the middle. Standard, these homes come with one sink, but we extended the countertop to fit a his and her sink and the bank of drawers down the middle. Our customers have told us that they really appreciate having a bank of drawers in the master bathroom. So we always try to add those whenever we can. You can see we have a nice large walk-in shower. If you want to do a tub shower combo, you could do a tub shower combo. You could do a tile shower, rainforest shower. Check out other videos we've done. You can see some beautiful shower options. And another thing I like about this floor plan is it does have this separate area for the toilet. This is a spacious guest bathroom. I'm sorry, this is a spacious master bathroom. And as we're moving out here over to the right, check out these linen shelves. I know for me, my wife and I have so many towels having this special area for the linens would be great. All right, now we save the best for last. We're gonna go into the kitchen and the living room and dining room area. It's nice and open. We've even added this nice kitchen island. This kitchen island, you could fit probably three bar stools over here. You could have your kids sit there. My wife and I always eat at the, at the breakfast bar at our house, so. Tell us what you think of this kitchen island. Remember, there are different options for kitchen islands. You could go larger, you could go smaller, you can add wine racks on the end. I'm sure you already noticed that we're missing the stainless steel stove and oven, but this home will come with all of your kitchen appliances. We've added these stainless steel kitchen appliances. You could go with white, black, or stainless steel. Here's a refrigerator that we chose on this home. Sometimes it, we do a, a three door, but this is a side by side with a ice maker and water dispenser. Let's zoom in here on these solid surface countertops. They look really nice. Silvercrest did a great job putting this home together. We've added the, that looks more about a four inch backsplash. You could 
choose from several different options for your backsplash. We just went with something a little bit simple on this home. You could go tile, mosaic tile, full backsplash, all the way up to the cabinets. What would you choose for your backsplash? Tell us in the comment section. Look at this. I love open floor plans. Some people love it where the kitchen's separate. You have a little bit more privacy, but it's really spacious and open. And check out this floor. This floor here is a waterproof floor with planks. If you have kids and they spill and it puddles and they leave it there for a while, you don't have to worry. It's a PVC plank. It is not going to get all mushy like, like wood. Last but not least, we're gonna take you outside to this half factory built front porch. It is six feet long. You could go as long as you'd like, but check out these beautiful views over here in Southern California. If you're interested in learning more about manufactured homes or you have any questions, you can always contact us at 866-720-2207. We appreciate all the love you can give by hitting that like button.